Washington's here. We've got Dale Washington's R33 Skyline. We've got Top Secret, the Lambo, and then we've got this RX7. What do you think of this? Beautiful. But yeah, what do you think of this? What, what year is this, do you reckon? 80s, I think. Ooh, 1980s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not very often you see something like this. Show you the wheels. Yeah! I mean, Jürgen's going out in this. R35 GTR. See what happens. What we're, what, so, what we're getting done with this. So this one, uh, I just love your new haircut, Callum. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, Callum, you're getting your haircut today. What the day is it? Tonight I've got the bar back. And oh. your hair. He's got mine as well, like mine's getting long. But anyway, so this car we got in the other day it has an ABS um, fault, so all the day, um, traction lights would come on and. ABS lights would come on so it's quite common on the early GTRs where the ABS pumps fail so we just take them out send them off to get refurbished bring them back bleed all the brakes fit them and that's a problem solved so quite frustrating but it's a, it's a common issue with them on the early models so yeah that's what we're doing with this one obviously the customer's driving down so I just want to go for a drive and make sure the car is right before he picks it up looks like he needs new discs but you happy with it with the work we've done yes um, he still needs a few things. TPMS, he needs new discs. That's why he had a little lights on on the dash. I don't know if you can see it. Which so one? He needs some TPMS sensors. Right bottom. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So he needs some new ones. They're about £40 each, and then you need to code them. Um, I mean, you can still drive the car, it just means you don't get your, to see your settings of your tyre pressures on the dash. So, yeah, but the drive's nice. See, discs are a bit warped, but I'm just checking the way we've done with the ABS. This afternoon, buddy. Just have a little walk on the shop. Show what's the crack with the uh, RX8s, RX7s, right? What's the crack? So the what's crack means for everybody. It means <laughs> Callum is trying to tell you like what's going to happen this afternoon. So that's crack, right? That's the crack. Not not uh, narcotics. <laughs> for those of you thinking, he means crack. So he means like what's going on. So this afternoon, I'm not sure, Callum, what what's going on. I think it's a lot of dino stuff today. Um, have a little look. That's Lambo's obviously getting the exhaust system done later on. Oh yeah. 
You just don't know how I look, do you? Okay, buddy. Get home. So this is the car I was just out in. Very nice. This is the GTR of the 19 year old me and Jürgen were just talking about. Very nice car. If you want things in life, you work hard for them. Craig Morgan. But yeah, that was a nice little drive out in an R35. See what else happening. We just had this crazy E-type Jag pull in for a power run. Thought I'd have to show you it. Absolutely beautiful. Look at them little buttons you know, headlamp, brake fluid, oil. Madness. I know done. I'll show you the figure. So that's around 210 at the wheel, which works out at around 235 brake horsepower. Crazy. It's a 1971 Jaguar E type. V12 Crazy Crazy looking car Let me know what you think of it. Beautiful car, not very often you see one of these. That's your nut. That was a bit different, wasn't it? Just another day in the life. Let's see what tomorrow brings.
we've got Buzz's GTI just had the full carbon ceramic brakes done pop that stopping power them manic buzz Oh, yeah, this just had its full carbon ceramic brakes on the red. Such a beautiful car. Very, very powerful. Right, so we are. David Orr from Unit 20. There we go. Just came to sort the hair out. It's got a where's your barber place? Uh, we've got Unit 20 in Blythe, just off Blythe Main Street, uh, next to Waterloo. Used to be the Granger Games. Uh, popped up, sorted him and Jurgen out, uh, get them all freshened up. Uh, and you need to keep an eye out from his blog. Anybody that knows me, follow him, keep an eye out. He's going to head down to Unit 20. Uh, have a good spin around. Bring uh, the drone, bring smashing. the drone, do you know? Bring the drone down. We're going to bring the drone down. Well, he's going to bring the drone down. Uh, and he's going to show you exactly where it is, what it looks like inside, and what you're going to get from there. So keep an eye out. Very nice, spot on. Right, nice to meet you, Davey. Nice to meet you, bud. Take care. See you in a bit, weird. Just had this beautiful R33 on the dyno. I've got the owner of it. Behind us, yeah. How we doing? Nice to meet you, Martin. Nice to meet you, mate. Oh, it's a bit dark, but right there. Right, there we go. There's Martin. He's going to air. Tell us, show you what we've done to the car. Yep, so the car was built in Japan by a company built hot staff. Uh, it was a show car for a few years. Um, so uh, it was silver originally, it got painted red. Um, it's got a full Tomy RB27, single position turbo, um, AB brakes, Nismo suspension, roads wheels. Uh, it's got the full 400 R kit on, so bumpers, arches. Let's go for a little walk around there. Alright, so, so the works wheels, the three piece split rims. These are the other wheels. The AP brakes. Brakes behind. Very nice. Yeah. What do I have next? And the engine bay. And the engine bay, so it's got a, a top secret uh, Kevlar bonnet. Um, fully forged Tomy RB27 uh, with a single position turbo. So, same size with GT45. Um, so, yeah. Is what it is. It's an uh, everyday car, really. It runs low boost, just made about 600 fly there, um, and it's made up to 900 on full boost. Can you tell us that this car's going up for sale, is it? It is, yes, it's going up for sale. Um, I was going to export it to America, but with COVID, it kind of messed it all up. So. Have you got Instagram on that? Yeah. I'll put his Instagram on an eight for you so to get in touch. Uh, very nice car, very well looked after. But yeah, that's Martin's R33. Hope you'd enjoy it. Cheers. So the owner Martin has kindly offered to take it for a little spin. So let's go. In the 
R33. Cliff's Lamborghini. It's getting a fully straight pipe exhaust and I believe it's stage one. So the lads just started taking the back end off now. Full back end of that to come off. Just give you a little look at the car. Those big brakes. I believe this is a handbrake. And that's the normal brakes. Carbon ceramic, very nice. Absolutely mad how low down the ground it is. But the scissor doors, nice black wheels. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking car. The size of vents, man, like, look at that. Crazy. Yeah, beautiful looking car. It's gonna be very loud when it's done. Obviously, done by GM Imports. Absolute driver. Everyone meet JV. 